Och då operator. Let's go. Now we go them. No, we ain't. I'm going to go here again. We think one. Let's go. Um, for your facility, um, somewhere in the US, nineteen ninety two. You will answer my questions as usual. One for yes, two for no. Do you understand? Do you believe in extraterrestrial life? I'm on case. Are you currently restrained? Do you know who I am? Do you know who you are? Are you this? Who? Who you call that? And the voices, man. C seven thirty AM. All right. So what do we have there? Ah, use that password there. All the password there. Oh, that. Oh, okay, I see. See how it is, huh? Scripted. Can't, I can't get the IPP against the login, eh? Thunder from high school, what an old day. Do I assign that to the operator program? I read the following document before proceeding and supervise the account acute for instructions. Cure modern federal government terminal, all unauthorized access strictly prohibited and subject to criminal prosecution. Sharing any information from the terminal with unauthorized personnel is forbidden, also subject to criminal prosecution. Thank monkeys. Uh, read me, sharing it with you. Eliello. This is the operator program. Operator program has been specifically designed to provide technical support to field agents, henceforth abbreviated as agents, while also ensuring a high level of confidentiality. Agents call at the hotline. The call is dispatched to secret secretaries who verify the agent's identity, clearance level, and request. Request is forwarded to the supervisor. Supervisor dispatches the call to an available operator. A direct line is established between the agent and the operator. Once the operator fulfills the agent's technical request, the line is closed. Additional information, contact your supervisor. The operator program is extremely confidential. Come on, guys. Hey, pal. The director. I hold up. Get all that booze out of here. Not following. What? You seriously don't remember? You wanted to celebrate your new job, and I quote, ahem, properly. Well, I'm happy you're here. You and me at the FDI together. It's really great, but I gotta tell you something. When we're on the job, I can't treat you differently than anybody else. You understand, right? Director Trench. Good. Well, I better run. The FDI not sure, can't so run not itself sure. now, can it? Good luck with your first day. All right. Sure. Good morning, Mr. 
Mr. Tanner. Welcome to the FDI. I assume you're up to speed on your mission here at the operator program? I read the document. You know the basics. Good. So, just to recap, your job is to support our agents by providing them with all the help they need in the field to solve a case. That help can come in the form of fact-checking, video and audio analysis, even lab work. My job as a supervisor is to link the agents with an appropriately matched operator. Any questions? Fine. But first, you need to learn how to respond to an agent's request. Let's do a dry run, shall we? I want you to find my age. This objective just popped up at the top left of your screen, beside the applications menu. See it? Whenever you're stuck, or if you need sure. help, simply click on the question mark next to the objective. Go on, and click on the question mark, Tanner. Sure. Yes, just like that. You can always click on the question mark if you get stuck. Though I'm hoping this won't happen often. I'm giving you access to the human database. The human DB, as we call it here. You can find this and other tools to help you solve agent requests in the applications menu. Now go ahead, Operator Tanner. Solve my request. Find my age. When you find the answer, click on the objective and then select the answer on the screen. Find the answer, click on the objective and answer on the screen. Alright. Sure. Did we can? Right. Like that, Tanner. I'll let you get settled in, and I'll contact you later with your first real request. Sure. The real request. Let's go. The enhanced technology. Sixty VC. Tanner, looks like your first request is somewhat of a baptism by fire. I have an agent working a homicide. It's her first case too. Not ideal, but consider this a learning experience. I'll be monitoring you in the background. Sure. I'm passing the agent through now. It's Operator Tanner, right? I don't think our paths ever crossed at the Academy, did they? Anyway, I got a homicide at a bar downtown called The Sanctuary. Ironic, no? My Vic, dead on arrival, is male, Caucasian, early 60s. He was shot in the head at close range around 2 a.m., just before closing time. As far as evidence, I got some surveillance footage from the bar and uh, some kind of list that I found on the deceased. Any chance you can work your sure. operator magic and help find me an ID on the shooter? I'm gonna do everything on you for you then. Alright, uh, sure. Thanks, operator. Okay. I'm sending over the files. Good luck. The bottom keys is there it. To be honest, I got no idea who any of those people are. The bizarre thing is, that name at the bottom, it wasn't redacted when I bagged it. But I think it's irrelevant to our shooting here. What is it really? What is it really? Are you with the streak? Thank you, thank you. Alright, let's see. Um... Uh, more uh, more support logs with the yeah, keyboard, keyboard and mouse, I think. Episode. This is our cutting edge video analysis system, Tanner. 
Click on any relevant elements in the video to trigger an analysis. Go on, give it a whirl. Va bene, sure. Just like with the video, mm -hmm. you can click on a photo for further analysis. Still this in circulation. I guess the money alone. The Hilda got all the age back. Early wills. Search through this one. Yeah, I'm gonna open, I guess. All right, sure. So I'm gonna keep this. And with that, who would that be? Yeah? Oh, Looks like that's the body of life. Jenkins. Mm. For some reason, we can't access his full profile. Unfortunately, for the moment anyway, there's not much else we can learn about him. Salty stuff. Can't check all of the... All of the info. Alright. Can we see who that'd be there? quality is insufficient for a proper ID operator. You'll need to find another way to ID the killer. Sure. Let's see what's in the list here. Nah, probably not really. Nah, it's just this again. Oh, that doesn't seem like much else going on there, though. And the other info to get. We could see what's under this, but yeah, the quality probably would be even even worse then. Alright, so uh reveals. Searching document. No. It's gonna be there though. Let's see, make it. Okay, the way, maybe there, maybe the way. I'll raise the bull fingers wells, then son. Possession of a drugs and Grand Theft Auto there. Uh-huh. Didn't get the term there. I see what I say. I'm not sure about the horror part here. So far it doesn't really seem like it, but I mean you never know. You never know what's gonna be happening there. Alright, let's see. Maybe I could be there or something. I clicked 100 times. They have amazing achievements there. Now, what if we look for some other people there? Time and resources, Tanner. Focus on the surveillance footage. Brother. Maybe it's something impor important there. I didn't get enough stuff on the footage already. Can't be that easy. Can't be that easy.
And I really want to do it this way. That would be just kind of way too simple. And the car belongs to him. It doesn't mean that he's a killer, though. Nice. Now we know the first name. You got something for Wells' address? Because I'll take it if you do. Freaking my SMH. No, maybe they're gonna check it and then we're gonna looking for someone else there. Even him, Marie. Not bad, Tanner. Not great, but not bad either. I'll contact you later with your next request. Oh, that is stood. I won't do that. Well, it'll be something a little more complicated there than this. This we could connect easily, no problems. Eh? Very first thing that I did. Eh? If I'm going to return there. Most wanted list information during your shift that might help the FDI and inform your supervisor at once. So let's see. Availing and hand delivering several explosive devices. Federal buildings. started by a previous operator. I'll let the agent working the case bring you up to speed. Sure. Oh, please. Tell me you got something. Don't understand. Yeah. Other Tudor from high school. Every goddamn time we get a new operator, it takes me twice as long. I got a life outside the FDI, you know? Interests, hobbies, full blooded passions. I don't Big have mistake. Time for this. Big mistake. A part of the family. The Vucci sells at the Corpe. Especially the government Corpe. I thought it was on the list. Talk to the locals. I can't believe I'm saying this, but everyone thinks she was abducted by aliens. Try to live with them. Middle of nowhere. Hot as hell. Sandy. Calling it a small town would be an insult to small towns. Hey, the boys. I think it's bonkers, too. Another weird thing is, over the past year, four people in Dryfield have claimed they've been abducted. And every single time they reappeared somewhere in the middle of the desert out here about a month later. Connie's story's the same. Yeah, she was on the list of that dude, um. She was. Popped back up yesterday. Something so Collected her testimony myself. She had a camera on. Naturally, I like to look at the photos, but to do that, I gotta go through you, an operator. Lucky me, right? There's something off about all this. I mean, beyond all the talk of little green men, just look for something that doesn't add up, okay? Yeah, so the guy who had the list uh, was removed from the database. There was no info on him. And the list with all those names on it. And then suddenly I got killed eh? by someone camera didn't catch. And that easy to convince everyone that the, the owner of the car was at fault there. It's them. It's them hiding the aliens, man. The dude was digging into it. So they decided to remove it. They remove him.
on it. A bit, a bit. And what was the uh, most uh, wounded? Uh, Smarkinski. Still not but dangerous. It's not a phase at all. Numerous murders committed in the early 80s in connection with an organized crime group. A drug distribution. Hell, a real name unknown. Various crimes of cyber terrorism committed against the federal government and other organizations. Extremely dangerous. And then he broke their uh, space bar there. And then of the uh, seven day healer skull. Crime of extortion, dragon sex trafficking, weapons of arson. Moments before uh, the FDI swarmed her calls compound in Bart, Texas. Sure. Camera. Nothing else there. Home case, there they are. Two of five, two twenty one. The language is there, my favorite. I sell show timestamp brightness show greed for but a good burger, the one and only. Didn't change anything with the, the different settings. Huh? Some brightness. Even eh? or doesn't affect like the old forest though. The raw. I've already been taken. Not gonna change much. Offensive 15 locations, yeah. Cell phone triangulation record carnivore. Time of things and timestamps from the day of Connie's disappearance. The 2205, and then from the day she reappeared, the 2305. No pings between the time of her disappearance to her reappearance. Two of five. The last ping. Disappearance, since disappearance. Somewhere there. Yeah, the phone was still on when the photo was taken, though, so we'll see. Appearance recorded her eyewitness testimony, supposed alien abduction. A victim agent in charge of investigation. FDI transcriber. Tell more about the day you disappeared. Hiking desert. You didn't clear my head to take photos. Photography is sort of a hobby of mine. Is that, uh, that is your camera. It is. Tells you remember about that day in the desert. The blurry wanted to hike around mountain water, but, but that really beautiful this time of the year. Okay, this one. And then it kind of went to the side. 
There was a loud noise coming from the sky. I looked up and barely had time to take another photograph. It was just uh, moving so fast. The ship, the UFO. How's life, Quark? How's life? Mars Bulldog's already crushing there, I see. I see. Already experiencing it in all this glory. Moving so fast, then I think it landed to the east, decided to head over and see if I could see anything else. Maybe get a photo of them. Taking me an hour and 40, 45 minutes to go where it landed. And then what? I'm not really sure to be honest. That's where my mind goes blank. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in some kind of room. And I can't move. Um, there's someone uh, with you in this room. Don't like to think about it, but yes, they were there all around me. The aliens. Did they look like? The room was so bright, like I was looking into the sun. I only saw the silhouettes. Describe them the best that you can. A human, except they were, and something was off. They were too tall and thin. It's disturbing, actually. I couldn't see their faces. I'm glad about that. Do you remember about the room? White, mean entirely white, and uh, int antiseptic, I guess. Smelled kind of uh, sort of like hospital. No doors, no windows. Or nothing, just a whiteness. I think they uh, wanted with you. They wanted to learn about me, to study me. So scared, couldn't think straight. They keep asking me questions over and over again. I see what I say. The corp until 10 p.m. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Feels bad. I hope you're not, not getting sick, though. I hope you're not getting sick at least, man. That's not cool. Kind of questions about my life, my family, my beliefs, everything. I guess that's what they do, study humans. What else do you remember? I had these strange voices, sort of mechanical, and there was a machine they were using on me. It was clamped to my head, and I don't know what it was, but it hurt. Tell us anything else? Not really. Next thing I remember, I'm waking up in the desert outside dry field, and the head was throbbing, maybe because of their drugs or mind probes, I don't know. Just wandered around out there, likely somebody found me or I might have died from dehydration. I guess they called the cops and the cops called you and the story. So the sus part was this. Photo taken on the 21, 16 days after her disappearance. Jackpot. Connie said she took that photo the day she disappeared. Clearly, she didn't. Maybe the aliens did funny things to her brain. Maybe your brain was funny to begin with. Do me a favor. Locate the position on the map where she supposedly snapped this photograph. Supposedly. 10.13. So should be here then. Not the bulls. Six USA. Huh? Already pain. I was most wanted. They see yellow. No ribbon. The heck are you? Hmm. 
That's all then. That was supposed to be uh, pretty obvious by now. Did you see my uh, cool uh, graphics? Damn son. Hacking into the FDI. Kind of figured that one out. Wouldn't if I didn't have to. Um. But since you guys aren't really doing your jobs, Zem. Um, what you talking about? I'm gonna sell the names, Zem. Um, I'm gonna show you something. I remember the list found on Henry Jenkins. Yes, I remember. Didn't see her name, did you? Um, Cody was there. So that. Already ahead of you, Mr. Hacker. Not a big coincidence, uh, don't you think? So going to assume that you didn't uh, notice uh, that of the 136 people on it, 122 have been reported missing. Well, did that I didn't check though. So that I didn't, that they didn't check. But one last thing, um, and this is the most important part. There's a name uh, near uh, the bottom that's been uh, redacted. Name is the key to understanding everything. Uh, have to go now, even, but I'll be in touch soon. Promise. Hello, Siggy, hello. I will catch you. Ah, I see, alright. I will catch him one day. I'll see how it is. Yeah, I could show kind of like more stuff though going on, kinda. To be honest, could be a little more, could be a little more. Well, still good though. Well, still nice. Well, it was still nice. And it's like a cool game indeed, yeah. This seems nice. That I noticed though. Um, so I guess like everyone crossed out from the list, disappeared, and never reappeared. And those who are circled them, they, they returned uh, from the abduction, I guess. Oh, I even probably know who's uh, who's the name is redacted then maybe, considering the intro and stuff. Maybe I got all the plot. Maybe I got it all now. Maybe. All right, let's see. So we could get some skull a bit earlier today, even then. Hmm. I mean, why not? I guess. Can like how far sing it last days. So we can get some Skald a bit earlier today, sure. So we do Skald, then we have the Accessibility Showcase. I don't know how long that one will be. It's gonna be 5 p.m. Well, I mean, that marks I assume our. But then we can get the Dungeon Clawler, the one that they announced yesterday. And then we got gonna do a little bit of Irelin. And then until the show, we can just do uh, the new release. Uh, the new release. Uh, has some stuff to play. Alright. But your game seems kind of nice. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, this 